In this video, we're going to set up your Google Calendar to integrate with Sprout Studio. When you integrate your Google Calendar with your Sprout Studio profile, and by the way, each one of the users on your Sprout Studio account can integrate their own calendar, and that way you create this really beautiful, complex set of calendar checking based on who's added to dates and where the invitations are and so on and so forth. But when you set it up, it is a true two-way sync. So everything that you have on your Google Calendar will automatically show up in Sprout. And everything that you have in Sprout will automatically show up in your Google Calendar. And we've built a lot of control for you in the calendar setup so that you can tell Sprout which of your calendars to check for availability and which ones not to check for availability. So let's hop in and set that up. So I have just the one user here set up um, or pulled up here on my account. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and we're gonna go into the calendar tab here. Now the first thing that you're gonna need to do is to authorize Google Calendar with Sprout Studio. So we're gonna go ahead and click that here. I'm gonna choose the account that I'd like to authorize and we're gonna go ahead and click allow. That now brings you back over here into Sprout and opens back up your calendar modal here. And you can see before you close this, you've got to configure a couple small things here. So the first thing is that we have this configure your Google calendars. So if I actually just for a quick moment, switch screens over here to my actual Google calendar, you can see that I only currently have one calendar in here. So I'm going to go back over here. But if you had more than one calendar, you would see more than one calendar listed here. So for each of your calendars, you can tell Sprout to either show it in your Sprout calendar or not, or you can tell it to check for your availability or to not check for your availability. So for example, if you had a calendar over here in Google called something like birthdays and you just didn't want Sprout to check your availability for your birthdays calendar, because that might not make sense, then you can go ahead and uncheck that particular calendar. Or if you had another calendar that was maybe just your spouse's calendar that you just had in your Google Calendar just so that you knew when they were working, but you didn't want to show that or check that here in Sprout, then you could uncheck each of these. So you have a lot of control over what shows in Sprout and what factors into your availability. Now just below here, you can specify in Sprout for all of the dates that are added in Sprout both for unattached dates, for dates that are attached to leads, and for dates that are attached to shoots. You can configure Sprout to automatically write those dates to a different calendar, or you can choose not to sync those dates at all. So maybe you wanna get really granular and create one calendar in your Google Calendar for your leads, one for your unattached dates, and one for your shoots. Or maybe you want unattached and shoots all written to the same calendar, but you want leads written to a different calendar just so you can really easily toggle that off on your phone so you're not always seeing all of your lead dates on your calendar and your phone, but you can turn it on if you want to. So you have a lot of control over how that works, or maybe you just don't wanna sync lead dates at all and you just click don't sync there. So you have, again, a lot of control over how this works. But once you've gone through here, you've set this up the way that you want to have it set up based on your Google Calendar and how you want to have it working, go ahead and click Update and Enable Syncing. And once you do that, your Google Calendar and your Sprout Calendar are now in sync, and it's a true two-way sync. If I go over here into my calendar here, this is my Sprout Calendar, and this is my Google Calendar. If I were to add a date right here and go ahead and save that, when I go over here into Sprout and refresh, that date will now show up here. Now, if I add a date here in Sprout and save it, that should now be added over here in Google. And there it is. Now, again, if I move the date in Google, and I refresh and Sprout, the date will get moved. So everything is now set up as a two-way sync. If I go into a shoot here, and let's go ahead and just really quickly add a sample shoot. And I'm just gonna really quick go back here, and I'm gonna set the shoot date to be 
this Saturday. I'm gonna go next step. I'm gonna set this up here. Next step. Oh, it's not happy with my email. Let's change that. There we go. And then next step, and then add shoot. So now this date for this shoot will be synced over to Google. If I go around over here, click today, there it is right there. You can see that it's been added. Now, if I had made another calendar here in Google, let's go here and we're gonna click create new calendar. And let's make a new one here called Leads from Sprout. We're gonna go create calendar. And then let's go back and refresh. Now we can see here leads from Sprout. If I go back over here into Sprout and then I open up my profile and go into the calendar section here, I can see now there's that other calendar leads from Sprout. Now I'm currently showing it and I'm checking it for availability. Maybe I wanna show it, but not check it for availability. Maybe I wanna have my lead dates here written to that calendar instead. Now if I click update, and now if I go to add a new lead here in Sprout, let's go ahead and set that up, and I'm going to set that for this Friday, and let's add the lead. So now if I go back over to my Google Calendar and refresh, then you'll see the date here, but it's added to my orange calendar here, which is leads from Sprout Studio. Now again, from here, I can just turn that off and then I won't see it anymore here in Google. So that's how you can set up your Google and your Sprout calendar to sync together, to work together with all of the different configurations. I'd recommend setting that up so that everything else that you build out in Sprout will automatically sync and work properly.